What are you saying, Pastor? I'm trying to get you to see. Mother, I'm trying to get you to see, Father, that if you pray for your son and you pray for your daughter, you may not know where they are right now and they may be erring, but God says if you pray in his name that he knows how to find them. He knows how to save them and he saves to the uttermost. So I say to you, don't stop praying. Hallelujah. For God, he hears you when you pray. But if you want it done, pray it in Jesus' name. For Jesus saves to the utmost. When you're praying for peace in your life, pray it in Jesus' name. How so? For when Jesus walked in the earth, there was chaos all around him, but he had peace in the midst of the storm. So when we pray, we're praying in Jesus' name because, Lord, yes, there's turmoil all around me, but I know if I pray for peace in the name, in the authority, in the nature, or in the character of Jesus' name, he will be a fence all around me when I pray and the enemy would try to rise up against me. I know this, I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. I feel like preaching this morning, who has loved us, that when we pray in the authority of Jesus' name, he has already conquered the devil. He has already vanquished the devil. So when I pray in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, victory is mine. I don't have to weigh on it. I know it's mine. How do you know it? I pray in the name of Jesus and based on his authority is already done. Based on his character is already done. Based on his nature is already done. Clap your hand and praise in him. Hallelujah. It's the authority of your prayer is in the nature or the character of Jesus. For he was your great high priest and he offered sacrifice once and for all and sat down. Which meant for us, what he's done is it's finished, it's, it's complete. Oh God, I wish I could get the saints to get that. So in reality, you're not waiting on anything. How can you wait on something that is done? Oh, God, help us today. It's a matter of you accepting what he has already done. It's a matter of you accepting. He has done it. He has accomplished it. And when we pray in the nature of Jesus, in the character of Jesus, or in the authority of Jesus, so shall it be done. Let's stand so we can pray today. <clears throat> you read in the <clears throat> book of Samuel, Friday night, Saturday, yesterday, I was in, just impressed in my spirit about uh, Hannah and just really, really impressed me. And so I had to uh, run some references real quick because I wanted to understand some things. But I wanted to understand it <clears throat> not from a Christian perspective. I wanted to understand it from the uh, Judean perspective. <clears throat> so I did some research on, on her prayer. Because you remember when she was praying, Eli thought that she 
appeared to be drunk when she was praying. Well, the Jews believe this. There is what is called the Kavana. The Kavana is intention, that when you pray, you pray with intent. That you just don't pray and not have a reason for prayer because if you pray without intent, then you're, you're only reciting words that have no meaning. So they believe in the Kavana that you have intention when you pray. You are forthright. You are direct in your prayer. <clears throat> and when they pray, some of you perhaps have seen it at the uh, Welling Wall or... or uh, you've seen someone who's, who's orthodox and they're, they're rocking back and forth. Well, that's called the chuckling. It's a Yiddish word. And uh, they believe this, that when they pray to God with intent, <laughs> that, and when they pray the word or the will of God, a fire lights in heaven on the altar. <laughs> and they in their prayers, they rock back and forth because they believe that once they are praying the will of God, they have become the flame on the altar in heaven. Oh, that blessed me tremendously. And so I can imagine Hannah, she's just praying. And can you, can you, you see the flame on, just on a candle as it, it flickers and it, it'll go back and forth. She's praying, and, and Eli can't understand, well, what's wrong with you? So, as I had read that, I thought about Pentecostals. I said, right, I, I got it, Lord. Yeah. He said, the reason why you get so excited, there's a fire that lit inside of you. What do you mean? Well, on the day of Pentecost, when it was fully come, they were all in one place in one accord. Spirit came upon them, and there were flames of fire seen on each head. And so as you begin to pray, yeah, I know sometimes you can't, you, you can't hold your seat. Sometimes you're trying to stand still, but you, you may get to, to rocking or, or shaking. A flame has been lit inside of you. Oh, bless Jesus. Flame has been lit inside of you because you're praying the will of God you're praying the word of God let those hands close your eyes please Father we come to you now your word is real your word is life to us as we stand in your presence appealing before you Lord you see all the things that are in our lives you see the things that we are faced with on a continual basis <clears throat> But also, God, we see that you have conquered all things by the word of your power, by your blood. And so, Father, we stand in your presence today with hands raised to you, with hearts open, bowing, God, in submission to what you want. For we often bring many things to you that we like to see done. But, Lord... What we want is your will as we, even if we lay out our, our petition, we want your will. If, if you must scrap our plan, if you must scrap our goal, if you must scrap our vision, we want your plan, we want your will, we want your ways. Father, we accept that on the basis of what you did for us on the cross of Calvary. We accept now the healing, we accept deliverance, we accept peace. We accept the victory. And we know it and we claim it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. We want to pray.